Thank you very much, Rance. We have Kelly and Buster here from First Sisters. And hi. Kelly, hi, welcome. Thank you. Buster is just Buster. a sweetie pie. Buster is actually on your shirt. Yes, he and is. And he's here through no fault of his own because he this recently way. found himself looking for a home for the second time. Can yes. you tell us why? Buster has a sad story, unfortunately. He got adopted two years ago by a really great guy. Um, and they loved each other and they went everywhere together. Say hi, everybody. Um, but he unfortunately passed away from a brain aneurysm. And so Buster found himself back with us looking for a home again. Okay. So um, he's a great boy. He's about three years old and super sweet. He's a lizard hunter. He is. He's he has not lizard. found one in here, but that has not stopped him <laughs> oh, from no. wanting to find he's one. He's definitely looking right now. <laughs> and you say that, that black dogs sit in shelters longer because they people do. just think what? That they're just I don't know. They're animals? just, I mean, some of the other ones just maybe stand out a little bit more because okay. they're, you know, they're white or fluffy or, you know, Something different, but um, there's a lot of black dogs that sit in the shelter longer. I mean, it's like they call it black dog syndrome. Um, for some reason, they just tend to get overlooked. I mean, some people really love black dogs, and that's all they get, but the majority of people, for some reason, overlook them. And I don't know why, because he's so pretty. I mean, just look into those <laughs> eyes. Know, he's just so special. And, and he likes to do this lean. I he was does. like saying that he had that like smooth criminal lean going. <laughs> um, oh, good love boy. him so much. So tell us a little bit about what's going on with First Sisters these days because you guys stay really busy. We're always busy, yeah. So we're doing the Seafood Festival on um, Sunday, uh, which is down in Riverside where they do the Riverside Arts Market. Um, 904 Happy Hour is putting that on and we partner with them all the time and we staff these events with um, volunteers and then all the tips go back to First Sisters and Perfect. they also make a donation from the proceeds from the day. So we're still looking for a couple people for that. Okay. Yeah. So what what is entailed in that? Do you need to be like 21 uh, and up? You, know, you just have to be 18. It's okay. beer and wine. Right. Um, and we are there from this festival from 11 to 8. But we have two okay. different shifts you can sign up for. And you can find that on our website and our social media pages. So if you're looking into Buster's big, big brown eyes and you're like, I can't have you at my house. Um, but I can donate my time doing something. Right. That would be one way to do it. You can just yep. have some beer and wine at a festival. Exactly. Tips going back to First Sisters. And thank you for always bringing these new friends by here. Of Buster, course. we don't really want to see you again in this capacity. <laughs> we would love to see a photo of you with a new family. Exactly. We hope that happens very, very soon. We Where hope can so people too. visit to, to learn uh, more? Firstsisters.org, or you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook as well. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be right back.